Hi, I'm Eric Smith, and well, this afternoon we're out at the Edmond Wastewater Treatment Facility, and with me is Chris Knifing. Chris is the chief plant operator here at the facility. Yep. Is that correct? That's correct. And you know, very often a lot of us take for granted that when we put something in the sink or uh, flush something down the toilet, that it's just gone. But this is actually where anything in Edmond comes and it gets, uh, I guess, refined and then sorted out and turned into, I guess, potable water, I guess, for all intents and purposes. Uh, close to potable close. water. Okay. Close, okay. Makes close. it safe for the rest of the community. Right. Uh, now, where are we right now? This is this is point A. I guess this is where it starts. This is the plant lift station where we take about half the flow from the city of Edmond. Okay. Uh, around three and a half million gallons a day come through here. Wow, every yeah, day. Every okay. day. And you know, I've noticed this. Can we take a look at this? What is this? This is a what we call a bar screen. A bar it's, screen. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's uh, screening objects larger than one inch. Which, wow. Look at that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> there's, there's stuff in there. There's lots of neat stuff that comes down the line. That's uh, interesting. Now we have a we have a what a 24 inch line I believe that comes in here and so this screens out the big stuff. Right, screens out the big stuff and okay. then we head into the wet well which is actually uh, wow look at this a bit this of a is sump. Huge. And then uh, from here we're we've got three pumps inside the lift station uh -huh. that are conveying water up uphill. Okay, now what, what does this actually do? Once it gets screened out and it's in here, what does this do? Th this is just a sump for, uh, to hold water for the pumps. Okay, so okay. So they'll have it. something to pump out. You know, Chris, one of the things that I, I find very interesting is we're standing right above wastewater, and interestingly enough, there's absolutely no smell. Right. Uh, that surprises me because uh, I thought surely this is going to really be pretty rank. No smell whatsoever. No, we, and we add chemicals into the water, ferrous chloride, uh -huh. to treat for the sulfide smell or rotten egg smell. Okay, Okay, Chris, we've, uh, we've just walked up what, two or three hundred yards from, from the entrance point, and now we're at a, a head unit that you're saying is a fine screen area, right. is that right? This is the head works of the plant, and what we're doing here is screening out even finer objects. So down at the bottom we were screening one inch objects, and now we're down to a quarter of an inch to get even finer trash from entering the plant. So it just sifts out even smaller and smaller pieces. Absolutely. Okay, what is this? This is step number three, I guess. Right. This is the called an oxidation ditch. Uh, this is where we've got microorganisms that are actually breaking down the pollutants in the water. Okay. And, and, and that just simply, that's another step, it just breaks it down. Uh, and the microorganisms in here just, what, eat at it? Kind of like, I guess, at home, if you have a block of cheese and if you just let it sit there, it would get moldy and it just end up breaking down. And that's what's going on here. Right. We, we've got them concentrated and uh, give them air. You know, that just like fish, they need air. Yeah. And uh, just send them around. And it, it, it's about a 24 hour detention time oh, to okay. break all the pollutants. It takes down. about 24 hours. And, and, and this just kind of goes in a circle, doesn't it? This water just rotates around. Yeah, another name for an oxidation ditch is a racetrack, and it, oh, it literally sense. it looks like a racetrack. Okay, now I'm seeing some like big bubbles. What what are those? Those big look plastic looking. Yeah, when, when people flush grease down the drain, it comes in here to the plant, and we're, it's, it's hard to break down, and so you see the bubbles, they'll stay up on top, and that's actually grease. Wow, okay. Not a good thing to be putting down the drain though, right? No, 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 never is. And that's the reason why is uh, it's hard to break down. Absolutely. Tell me, what are some of the, what are some of the things that, that citizens that, that we can do to make your job a little easier here? What can we do to help you out? Well, you know, things like flushing, uh, flushing grease down the drain, plastics, personal hygiene products, mm -hmm. paper towels. Paper uh, towels. Paper towels. Do I wouldn't not have thought that. Down. I would have thought that would break down. But paper towels don't break down. No, no. They uh, they stay they stay intact and actually form balls of rags, which can actually clog sewer lines. No kidding. Absolutely. Okay. All right. That's interesting to know. All righty. We've just taken a look at the oxidation ditch and uh, how that works. Now the next step is you said the clarification tank. Is this what this is called? Yeah. These are clarifiers, and uh, so after it's leaving the oxidation ditches. The microorganisms, uh, we bring them in here to settle out the, the sludge okay. or microorganisms. You know, I'm noticing that, that this, uh, the water on the edges, it kind of flows over the edges. This is very clean water now. What's happening here 
is the sludge is settling out and the good water, the good clean water is coming to the top. Is, is coming over the edge and uh, leaving the clarifier. Kind of like at home when you get dirty water and you let it set and the, the, it's just sediment goes down to the bottom and clear water's at the top. Because I can actually see down into this, but there's sludge at the bottom, right? Absolutely. About how much? Uh, well, let's take a look. Oh, yeah. Hey, great. Let's take a look at this. Okay, now what is this? It's a big long plastic tube. This is a we call it a sludge judge. Uh, it takes a core sample of the water. Okay. So we can see exactly. You how run much. this down to the bottom, just like when when you're a kid, you get the a straw and you put it in your Coca-Cola and put your thumb on it. And Absolutely. It back up. And that's Same. it. Look at that. Same concept. Wow. Okay. So you've got one, two, three, about almost four feet, three and a half, four, four feet, feet of, of sludge. sludge. Absolutely. Okay. Interesting. Wow. Look at that. And then that's the clear water that comes out of it. Yeah. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, now after this, we've got another step because it gets even cleaner. Yeah, so we have little fine solids that will actually make it over the weirs of the clarifier. Okay. And so our next step is to take it to a sand filter and get it down to just a little bit. tiny. Okay, where's the bit. sand filter? Well, let's head there. Okay. Okay, Chris, uh, I guess we're at the last phase of the water cleanup. Uh, we've just finished with that part. Now we're going into here. What is this? Yeah, so from the clarifiers, we're heading into sand filters, which is just polishing fine particles that may have escaped the clarifier okay. and to uh, screen them out, basically. Okay, and, 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 and what's in the bottom? What's the filter? There's 30 inches of sand in there before it can release through the bottom. It's all gravity draining down through the sand. So the sand is a natural filter, and the water just gets pumped in, and then it gravity pushes it down Absolutely. and comes out into here. Let's go take a look okay. down in here. Uh, a lot, of, uh, a lot of white bubbles in here. What is this? That's just from the oxygen in the water. It's uh, just turning it up, kind of like if you turn on your faucet real fast. Okay, wow, I can smell this now. This, But this is a good smell. This is the very first time I've been able to smell something. It smells like chlorine. Yeah, just like a swimming pool, same thing. Okay, so you chlorinate this water. Yep. Okay, and, and as I can see, it's flowing through here, uh, and you've got a maze. What, what on earth does this do? The, the maze is to make the 30 minute contact time required to kill pathogens in the water. Okay. And instead of letting it run straight through, it has to wind through a maze to make sure it, it has its Slows contact. the water down. Absolutely. Okay, so you've got chlorinated water coming in here. By this time, the water is pretty darn clean. At Absolutely. This point, right? Yeah. Okay, now let's go ahead and go on down here. So the water is being slowed down by these baffles. Oh, this is, this is interesting. Uh, Okay, we've got something going on down here. What, what's going on down here? Well, here we're dechlorinating the water to keep from uh, killing fish and other microorganisms and uh, the habitat where we're discharging out into the creek. Okay, so now you have to dechlorinate because the next step is what? It's going to get pumped out into nature? Right, it just goes straight out into the creek. What creek? The Coffee Creek. Coffee Creek? Yeah. Can we go take a look at where this comes out? Sure. Let's go okay, take a look. great. Okay. So, Chris, wow. Okay, this, uh, where, now you said this is Coffee Creek, right? Right. Okay, this is, uh, this is very, very clear. I can see the bottom of the creek. It looks like in places, it uh, looks like it's six, eight feet deep in some places here, but this is so clear. Now, this is as clean as it gets because you're putting the water from uh, the, the wastewater treatment facility into the environment, right? right? Right. And this is clean. Yeah, this is clean. And as a matter of fact, we monitor upstream and downstream twice a month to make sure that uh, our water is clean. And we're actually cleaning it up. It's cleaner after we put water into the creek than before. Oh, really? So the water you're putting into the environment is cleaner than the water that's already there. Absolutely. So in essence, you're helping the environment. Absolutely. Oh, this is incredible. This, so we've gone from all the way from A to Z, and this is the very end of it. This has been very interesting. Uh, Chris and I, think, I really do appreciate you letting us come out and take a look at this. For our viewers back home, be sure and remember, make this man and his crew's job easier. No grease in the drains and only put the things that really belong in the toilet, in the toilet. And uh, this has been so interesting. This has been a segment from a previous episode of Your Edmund. Watch new episodes of Your Edmund beginning each month here on Edmund Life TV.